Top of the first here in Lyndhurst in this North Non-Public A section final. And it's Greg Olson of number five, Bell Barton, dropping the single in despite the great effort from Pope John center fielder Ryan Casey. And the Green Wave has runners on first and third and one out. But Pope John pitcher Trevor Backman ends the threat and the inning with the strikeout. And we have no score with a trip to the state final on the line. Bottom of the first and it's Justin Provost with the one out line drive single to right for Pope John. And the Lions have runners on the corners as George Summers takes third after reaching by getting hit by a pitch. And Summers scores here on the Hunter Silvernail RBI sack fly to right despite the terrific throw from Greg Olson in right field. And Pope John has the one nothing lead after one inning. We go to the top of the second and watch Justin Provost make that nice play on the bunt at third base for Pope John for the second out of the inning. He's a terrific player. He'll go on to play at Rowan. All right, but the Green Wave would load the bases for Andrew Papatonis and the Virginia Bound Superstar unloads this blasted deep center field as it rolls to the fence by the 417 sign that clear the bases is Thomas Coliccio, Peter Royce, and Anthony Volpe come around the score and then watch Papatonis leg out the grand slam and after just one pitch, the Green Wave have a 4-1 lead. He is a special player, folks. And Greg Olson, who was hit by a pitch, takes off for second, but the throw goes awry, and he comes around the score, and now Del Barton has a 5-1 lead. Bottom of the frame with just one out, Kevin Pusky bounces a single through to left side, and Pope John has runners on first and second after Davian Sanchez had walked. Pope John then loads the bases, and it's Joe Millar with the hot smash to shortstop for the RBI, and Pope John trails 5-2 with two outs and the bases loaded after Sanchez scores. Then it's George Summers with a ribby single to right field to Plate Putsky and watch the ball come around, it bounces around and on the attempt to get the runner at second, that allows Eddie Ventresca to come around the score and we have a 5-4 ball game, crazy play. Okay, Pope John pitcher Trevor Backman settles down and he gets the K here to end a 1-2-3 top of the third for Pope John, but it stays 5-4 green wave. All right, bottom of the fifth, and with one out, Pope John looks to score here as Justin Provost belts the double to deep right. But watch Greg Olson come up throwing. He hits the relay man, Patrick Harrington, and he sends it to home as Kevin Schroeder makes the tag to get the runner at the plate. Huge play there, and it stays 5-4 Del Barton. All right, bottom of the sixth, and Pope John works out two walks, and Coach Vinny Bello calls for the double steal, and it works. And on the overthrow, it's Anthony Volpe out of camera range, making the great play to keep it from going into left field as the runners stay at second and third. Huge play there by Volpe. And Del Barton starter Hunter Waldus gets the strikeout to end the inning with a tying and go-ahead runs on. Big strikeout there, and it stays 5-4 Del Barton. Top seven, and it's Anthony Volpe ripping the leadoff triple for the green wave as he hits the gap in right center and Del Barton is looking to add a big insurance run. And the Green Wave do on this Greg Olson ribby single to center as Volpe comes in to score, and it's 6-4 Del Barton. And Del Barton reliever Winston Allen punches the Green Wave's ticket to the non-public A state final with the strikeout to seal the 6-4 win as Del Barton will play in the state final Saturday against St. Augustine at Towns River East High School at 2 p.m., their first final appearance since 2012, as Pope John's great season ends at 23 and 8. We play great. I'm so proud of my seniors. We play. That's a well-coached ball club. I thought that Del Barton in the beginning of the year was the team to beat in the state. Uh, they'll be number one. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. They will beat Bishop Eustis or the other guy. And they, you know, they had a lot of injuries in the beginning. They're a well-coached team. And but I'm so proud of my guys. We battled so hard. Uh, all year long. This is this is one of the better teams that we've had here. Um, and again, I, I said it to NJO, I'll say it to you. For us to beat Bosco twice and those guys to beat Joe's and get here, we're all the Bergen County teams. We're here. So I was proud of the Morris County teams, you know, Morris County champion against the HWS champion. That's this is what it's about. It was great. And just about how the kids, you guys were down and came back in the second inning, made it 5-4. It could look like it could have got away from you, but boy, you kids battled. No, I battled. And I battled at the plate. We worked the count. We, you know, and Milk came in and did a great job. And, and hats off to them. I think the play of the game was Volpe behind third base when we stole third. I mean, I didn't think anybody was covering, and they weren't. And he airmailed it, and Volpe makes a great play. That's why he's going to Vanderbilt. So. <laughs>
And just to look back this season, you get a piece of the American, you win the HWS, get here for the first time in a while. Yeah. It's been quite a ride. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so proud of my seniors, you know, Justin and Backman and Roberts and all those guys. Yeah, yeah they're a special group. Um, and I, you know, it's gonna be tough not writing Justin's name in the lineup for, you know, for rest of the time. And but he's gonna have a great career at Rowan, and I'm proud of proud of my guys. I really, really am.